So where this came from was I was wanting to build a indexer and I found this my Ford boy Arduino indexer part three wiring and he goes through the process of explaining all these parts how they all fit together what you need he has a list of everything that you need so what I have here I have a power supply it's a 12 volt 5 amp I got the Arduino underneath there the shield the motor controller the motor so what I have for the motor is I have a stepper line and it's a uh, 23H S30 0-2804S so it tells you what the color codes are for the wires and uh, so all of this stuff is going to fit inside of a box now he has a link to a website I don't know if I can focus in on this I guess not but anyway it's um, www.liming-org L-I-M-I-N-G and in his uh, actual original video, he shows a different box than what this one is. This is a bigger box. And he added a reset button. I guess before, if you wanted to, once the program is up and you wanted to switch to something else, you had to turn the program off. And then you had to turn it back on as to where now he's using a reset button which I'm going to incorporate in mine so what he has here is he has a select button has a reset button the down the up the left and the right and of course the screen and he's got some connector ports on here which on his original are up on the top and the wiring for this it's hard to tell what it is <laughs> so that's why I'm going to try to explain it here and this is the little uh, 50-100 UF which is this guy right here and I'll explain that but um, This is uh, the file, the spin indexer 2.3, and there's the uh, the website that explains a lot of it. You can download these uh, copy of this the README file and the program file and a lot of other stuff. And that includes a copy of this. And there's also a wiring diagram. Which is right here. Now I added some stuff to it. Because I'm going to try to explain it the way I did it. So we'll just start off with the 
you got the power supply it's got a positive 24 volts that I got going into a switch that gets mounted to my box and then off of that it goes into the motor supply now this is the same thing as that so we we'll just use this so the 24 volts goes into this one and then the ground or the negative goes into the next one and then the motor goes into the next the next four depending on your your wires I got four wires coming off my motor so the the shield this VIN don't you can't go by the color codes on these wires because I just threw them on there just to hook this thing up see if it works but the VIN is the positive off of the power supply the 12 volt the one next to it is the ground that's the the red one is the power the green one is the ground then the next one is a ground and then this next one is the 5 volts that goes into this guy here the motor controller and it goes in on this one on the end opposite where the motors are and that gets jumped from the end one to the third one and to the fifth one that's these white wires this is the one coming off of the shield then it gets jumped to this one then it gets jumped to this one now off the top of the shield this one to the third one goes into the second one and on the shield the fourth one goes into one, two, three, number four. And on the shield, one, two, three, four, five, the fifth one goes into the last one. So what those are is actually this side. this side so when you're looking at this you're looking at it like this so this is the side we were just talking about right here so the 5 volts goes into that one which is the end this one which is pieces rotated like this and now I'm rotating it like this so the 5 volts goes into the end one and then that gets jumped to that one and it gets, gets jumped to that one then number two off of the top of the shield which is actually up here I made a drawing the number two 
which is actually the third hole goes down and it goes into the CLK minus and then the number the one next to that which is the number three goes down into the CW minus and the number 11 goes into the EN minus now all the the pluses are the ones that get jumped off of this 5 volts the way they get jumped and then the minuses are the different ones on the shield which is the number 2, 3 and 11 which is these 2, 3 and 11 I got a now he uh he showed a picture of that somewhere. I gotta find it. Oh here it is. So the top of the shield So the the third hole is number two. The fourth hole is the number three. And the fifth hole is number eleven. So that kind of explains the left side. Now the right side, which is this side which again is this side far side so that's where the motor hooks into so on this one here you got your your 12 volts in and then you got your negative 12 volts and on mine, it's the the A plus or the black wire. Then this one is the A minus, the green wire. And then this one is the B plus, <clears throat> the red wire. And then this one is the B minus, which on mine is the blue wire. And that's the the motor blue red green and black now of course on you have more stuff that gets hooked into it see I have these other wires that are attached to it these jumpers clips and one of them is this 50 dash 100 UF so the short side has got a stripe on it and I was told that that was the negative side so that's hooked into the negative side or this one the second one this one being the positive this one being the negative and then the other side of that uh, diode ref uh, refractor or whatever that thing is gets hooked to the positive side which is this side and then of course you have your like I said before you have your your positive here your negative and then the the 5 volts this one that goes into that and the the positive and the negative come off of your power supply
I know it, uh, it looks a little complicated, but I tried to uh, put it on this diagram. So there's your power supply that comes in, goes to that refra uh, diode thing or whatever it is. You got your plus and your minus. That goes into the motor supply, and you have the ground, which goes into the motor supply, and then it also goes in from the VIN, they call it here the VDD, but on mine it's the VIN, that's the actual display, and then you got the ground, which is connected, and you got your temperature switches, I'm not using those, and you got your 5 volts, which comes into those three wires that jump, that's those, those three on this end. They go there, there, and there. They jump. Yeah, I know it's a mess, but... Yeah, if you kind of, you know, look at this... And it'll... It's not that bad. There's a lot of stuff... A lot of stuff going on here. Anyway, all this has got to get put in a box. And that's uh that's gonna be tight. But I just wanted to show this because once I tear it down and put it in the box, it's kinda hard to see it. Now if you look at the you look at the, the the back of these these things here they actually explain like on this one here you can see where it says 24 volts so I guess you can have 24 volts coming in but I only got 12 then you got your ground you got your A plus A minus B plus B minus Then on the other side of it, it's got stuff too. See, there's your CLK plus, CLK minus, CW plus, CW minus, EN plus, and EN minus. So it, it explains to you on the board and of course, if you kind of go by this drawing here a little bit, that kind of helps explain it. Hopefully, it helps explain it. I know I had a little tough time with it, but I finally figured it out. But, so we're going to have to take this all apart. And we're going to have to put it into a box and uh, kind of go from there. Alright, talk to you later.